Hey you guys, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about uh, the moon landings. Um, there's a lot of controversy over the moon landings. And I don't know why, um, even in schools, they, they like some schools, man, they even, they even teach that like we didn't land on the moon. And I mean, in the United States, there are teachers out there telling students we didn't land on the moon. Okay, this is my personal opinion about the moon landing. First off, I don't think it's necessarily very difficult for us. And I'm going to I'm going to oversimplify this tremendously, okay? I don't think it's very difficult for us to get a tin can, put a person in it and launch them outside of our orbit. I don't think that's something that we couldn't do in the 60s or late 60s. Uh, I think it was very easy to do that. What I don't think is easy is bringing that per that person back alive, okay? That's the hard part. But sending, it's, I don't think it's that difficult. Now, there's a lot of controversy over the video and details NASA is given that people argue it's impossible and, and the footage and and this is what it looks like and this is uh, most likely it can't be because of now in my opinion we obviously went to the moon this is something we really wanted to do um, the Soviet Union was was already venturing into space and we were not allowed to let them have just a head start and just run off. We, we needed to catch up and be a part of this. If we wanted to continue to be a world superpower, we need to venture into space and have our own, uh, have our own astronauts, have our own spaceships and whatnot. So what ends up happening is we send people to the moon. Now, why do we, not necessarily why do we send them to the moon, but in regards to, to the video and, and everything else in terms of the public knowing or it being shared with the public. Now, I believe we definitely went to the moon. If we could have, we 100% recorded the entire event in immense detail. Now, the video shown, I don't believe that was the real video. Because the video would show so many different technologies that we spent so much money to, to work on. And, and to, um, to, like, a lot of things are secret. Like, we don't want them to know. Um, how we built it necessarily what it looks like inside what like just so much so many stuff because if we're in a race the, le the less information I give you the faster I can go without you catching up to me right so the video shown in my opinion is a video that was shot on earth and that's what was shared with the public and I don't think they shared the original video with the public in any way shape or form all the way until today um, and I believe it's the it's the same with the Soviet Union and it's no secret that the Soviet Union was extremely extremely uh, private and secretive about their space missions you know and it's strictly about your competition not having valuable information that you you dedicate a vast amount of resources and manpower to acquire. So I'm looking at it from the point of view of if, if I were government, that's exactly what I would do. Hell yeah, I'd be sending people to space. And I wouldn't have stopped at the moon. Most landing, we didn't. Like, we, I, we would have gone until Apollo fucking 113, you know? But 
all of it would be in secret. I mean, we showed the population, the US, US population and the world, look what we could do. We could land on the moon, okay? We, we threw out uh, a fictitious video, even though we really did go there. But after that, it's none of your business what we're doing up there now. It became partially a military, uh, a partially a military, but it 100% government projects and stuff. You know, so that's my opinion on the moon landing and the moon landing being a hoax. So I think we did land on the moon. The video is a hoax. Yes, we have real video. Most likely, we have recordings. We have immense amounts of, of, of data that most likely they're never going to release. Maybe in another hundred years, you know? Um, so that's my opinion on it.